New from the NBA today, the Boston Celtics have suspended their head coach for the entire season. A woman says her wallet was swiped right out of her purse at a restaurant in the short pump area. You have, and we have a full guide here. Voters have until Election Day in November to go to their general registrar's office in their jurisdiction. Well, United Airlines forced to cancel some flights after it turned out the airline failed to perform required safety checks. Sudden closure of a major U.S. Postal Service branch in Carytown. Today, there are so many different resources for service members and their immediate families. Welcome back to 8 News at 4. I'm Heather Hope. As summer comes to an end, all eyes turn to the holidays as airlines are already preparing for a busier than usual travel season. Money could be coming your way, part of a $21 million lawsuit. Deputies, police and firefighters help pull a man's truck out of a pond after he crashed into the water in Oklahoma. Welcome back to 8 News at 4. For the 13th week in a row, gas prices here in Virginia continue to fall. Here's a look at the latest numbers from AAA. The Richmond City Council is meeting tonight. Council members will talk about several big topics. That was Victor Okendo reporting. And that does it for our first 8 News at 4. Pumpkin fans are in for a treat this fall as farmers say bigger pumpkins and more of them are on the way. That was Whit Johnson reporting. And that does it for 8 News at 4. A new study reveals Disney World loyalists think a trip to the park today is too expensive. I don't know if that's magic or if that's a curse. <laughs> That's a lot of money. You need magic to pay for it. Sounds like a great event. Well, King's Dominion is gearing up for a spectacular event. The park needs 500 part-time employees for its annual Halloween haunt. VCU has reached an agreement with the family of Adam Oaks, the freshman who died. A scam to warn you about, one woman says criminals used a legitimate business to convince her she was at a real job interview. Heather. Deanna, these pups are in high demand after gaining international attention about their mistreatment and their rescue. 8 News has been following this. The Humane Society says it hopes to get the rest of the dogs released from the facility by early September. I'm Heather Hope in studio. Back to you. 8 News anchor Heather Hope joins us live in studio with details on this event. Heather. Yeah, that right, Eric, Indiana. The city of Richmond partnered with the Robbie Publique Foundation, which is calling this gun buyback event the highest number of weapons they've ever collected at one buyback. News anchor Heather Hope joining us live in studio with the details. Heather. Hey, Eric, thanks so much. Excited to be here. If you've ever seen Walmart delivery by drone ever in town, get ready to see much more of that. The governor says that Virginia beat out several states, including Arizona, New York, North Carolina, and Texas for this drone expansion project. Sounds like quite a win for Virginia, and we've got quite a win right here at 8 News. Welcoming Heather Hope coming all the way from California. So glad to have you here.